long you've been communicating before you met each other in person? I I remember six months before we met. Okay, six months you've been communicating uh, online yeah. before you met. Welcome back to my channel and today I am here in Ayala Mall. I meet uh, one of my subscribers. Actually, her and her boyfriend are my subscribers and then I meet her here because she asked me a different question about uh, mall removal. So, and I will make, I'm going to interview her a little bit. So, uh, her name is Kizel, 21 years old. So, Kizel, welcome to my channel and Thank you for the uh, thank you for granted my interview and nice meeting you also. And could you please tell other details about you and I mean some information that you would like to share the viewers? Um okay and Kizel, I am from an Iligan. Okay. But me and my brother are staying in Tagayan um, And then also I'm still studying. Okay, how, uh, what grade are you in now? I'm third year. Ah, okay. And how old is your, you are 21, and how old is your boyfriend? Um, 60 years old. Okay. Uh, where is he from? He's from Sweden. And how long you been, where did you meet him? Ah, uh, him online. Okay, uh, dating apps. Yes, dating apps. Okay. And how long you've been communicating before you met each other in person? I I remember six months before we met. Okay, six months you've been communicating uh, online yeah. before you met. And what was your reaction and feelings when you met him in person? Oh, it was really amazing because oh. when we're already talking, I can feel that we are we connection. compatible. Uh, we have connection. And then, yeah, we proved it when we met. Okay. And uh, what is the difference talking to uh, online and talking to person? Because there is a difference when you talk to somebody online. There is a difference when you talk to somebody in person or in reality. What was the difference? Oh, yes. Before we met, we are actually talking about that. Uh, before you can say that you are really compatible with that person, you need to meet in person. Meet him. Yes, in person. And that's why before we yeah, go to getting serious, we met each other. And then, because when you're just talking online, you can't see if it's um, her emotions or what he's really into. You cannot see the people. Yeah. And how do you handle the time uh, difference or how do you handle LDR relationship? Um, basically with that, we just talk mm -hmm. our first day going and also yeah, we just share what has been do what we had been doing mm -hmm. and then at okay. And um, do you have any plan to get married in future or you will finish your study first? Um, I will finish my study first. That is what we already talked talk about. But do you have any plan to move his country or uh, he has uh, he has plan to uh, retire here in the Philippines and stay here permanently here? He plans to stay here permanently. permanently. And I want to build my future ah, okay. before I will, we will decide to get out. Okay. And how do you handle um, the reaction of Filipino people when other uh, when when some Filipino people know about your age gap difference? Because you know Filipino people, there are some Filipino people are very judgmental. They are saying that oh, it's because of the money because uh, he. Uh, she, she talked to the partner because of the money, because the partner is older than her. So, how you can handle that uh, situation, judgment from Filipino people? Basically, I just don't care. <laughs> oh, yes, because, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because I can see it from people's eyes. Actually, mm -hmm. even when I don't hear what they are saying, but you can see it through their eyes. Yeah. And also, it is something you cannot control. 
Yeah. And that is how they see it. And you cannot yeah, control what they are thinking about you. And then I know myself. And basically they would say that maybe I'm really because I get into this relationship. Yeah. But I am really happy. And I don't care what other people say. Okay. And how did he handle? I mean, it's okay to you about the. Uh, it's okay both of you. There will be no problem for both of you about the higher age gap between you and him. No problem. No problem between you. So you are very. Uh, I mean, you are understand to each other that you no, know, even if there is um age higher age gap between us but there is no difference between you before we met i actually broke up with him because i was thinking that we will not much in yeah. perspectives in life thinking um he has more experience yeah. life experience than me and i was thinking that Really, we will not match because of that age gap. Mm -hmm. Yes, but we grew it when we met. There's huh. really nothing. It's just like we are a, in the same age. There's really yeah. no problem. No difference. No. It seems like you are in uh, the same age. Yes. Because, you know, even if the girl is younger, but if she thinks in a mature way and a very professional way, there will be no problem on that. And how many times he will come visit here in the Philippines? Um, and he is already every year, at least six months. Or, but now he's planning to stay a bit longer. longer. Mm -hmm. It will be more next time, I think. Because he go home to within four months to three, uh, four months to five. Ah, okay. They stay and speak in four months and go back to the Philippines. Ah. And how how he adapt the culture here in the Philippines? Basically, everyone knows that there's a really challenge yeah. when you are in a different country, especially for them. And patience is a virtue. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, you cannot behave what you are mm -hmm. in your home country yeah. in here. So yeah, patience. Okay. Do you have any plan to to have a child in the future? No. Or no, you don't have yet a conversation about that. We have. Ah, okay. But I don't. Ah, okay, you don't want. And what attitude of him that you really would like? I mean, what what her uh, what his ability and attitude and behavior that you really like him? Um, I like that he really helps me to go out from the shed, mm -hmm. and he helps me encourage me to grow mm -hmm. more. He is there always encourage me to do this and that because yeah, I am basically a different person before mm -hmm. than now. I am really a bit a different one because. The moment we had a, we get along. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of experience, especially life experience, yes. because yeah, he wants me to to follow those. He guide you. Yeah. He guide you. Okay. Uh, it seems like he teach you. Um, he teach you different things. Yes. Mm -hmm. He always guide me to any things we do uh, and also yeah he's very considerate and okay and what was your uh, parents reaction that they know that your boyfriend is much more older than you i didn't see any problem with them uh, actually because i shared to them how good he is mm -hmm. how great he is and even the first time we met, my parents are present. Ah, okay. So the first time you met him, your parents is with you? Yes. Ah, okay. So how many times you met your parents? 
every time when he come here in the Philippines, he will meet your parents. Yes. Ah, okay. So he is welcome to your family now. Okay. And did uh, how did did he try to uh, for for the food? Is he choosing a food to eat, or he can eat Filipino food? He can eat any Filipino food. Ah, okay. But it's more a bit cautious because he has his stomach. Yeah, problem. Mm -hmm. Because our our food here is different than the So that's it, and Giselle, Hazel. Okay. So that's it, Hazel. Thank you for sharing your story and. See, uh, age, age doesn't matter here in the Philippines. It doesn't matter if you are young or adult. I mean, it doesn't matter who the person to be with you, either young or adult, as long as you are compatible for each other. You love to each other and uh, you have respect to each other. Trust, LDR, uh, the most important in LDR is a trust, understanding, patience, and time so uh that's it and it doesn't matter if you are in the big age gap relationship as long as you love to each other and happily uh live together so that's it and thank you and Hazel, thank you so much and bye you only call me on the weekends when you're out and about only chasing highs you need me he brings me flowers